Hello, I'm going to read to you from a book called Walking the Bridge of Your Nose, wordplay, rhymes and poems that I've collected together with pictures by Chloe Cheese. And I've written an introduction, it goes like this. Ever since there has been language, people have played with it. Archaeologists have found funny rhymes scratched on the walls from ancient Roman times. And all over the world, people have made up tongue twisters, riddles, puns, and all sorts of wordplay. So be prepared to be baffled, bamfoozled, bewitched, and bedazzled. Either your tongue or your mind may be twisted up and whirled around in circles. Just hang on to your seats and wait for a giggle. So here's the first poem. Esau Wood sawed wood. Esau Wood Wood saw wood. Oh, the wood that wood would saw. One day Esau Wood saw a saw saw wood, as no other wood saw wood ever saw wood saw wood. Of all the wood saws wood ever saw saw wood, wood never saw a wood saw that wood saw wood like the wood saw wood saw wood saw wood. Now Esau Wood saws with that saw he saw saw wood. And this one's called Once. Once upon a barren moor, there dwelt a bear, also a boar. The bear could not bear the boar. The boar thought the bear a boar. At last the boar could bear no more the bear that bored him on the moor. And so one more the bear he bored, the bear will bore the boar no more. This one is about a night light. You've no need to light a night light on a light night like tonight. For a night light's light's a slight light and tonight's a night that's light. When a night's light like tonight's light, it's really not quite right to light night lights with their slight lights on a light night like tonight. Night, 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 said one night to the other night, the other night. Night, night, night. Sheila Shorter sought a suitor. Sheila sought a suitor short. Sheila's suitor short a suitor. Short's the suitor, Sheila sought. Down the slippery slide they slid, sitting slightly sideways. Slipping swiftly, see them skid on holidays and Fridays. I wonder how many times I could say that. Down the slippery slide they slid, sitting slightly sideways. Slipping swiftly, see them skid on holidays and Fridays. Could I say it faster? Down the slippery slide they slid, sitting slightly sideways. No, I'll try again. Faster. Down the slippery slide they slid, sitting slightly sideways, slipping swiftly, see them skid on holidays and Fridays. I did it. Did he say I said you said she said that? He said you said I said she said that. Well, I didn't. There were two skunks, out and in. When in was out, out was in. One day out was in and in was out. Their mother, who was in without, wanted in in. Bring in in, she said to out. So out went out and brought in in. How did you find him so fast, she asked. Instinct, he said. Our Joe wants to know if your Joe will lend our Joe your Joe's banjo. If your Joe won't lend our Joe your Joe's banjo, our Joe won't lend your Joe our Joe's banjo when our Joe has a banjo. A fly and a flea flew up in a flu, said the fly to the flea, what shall we do? Let's fly, said the flea, let's flee, said the fly. So they fluttered and flew up a floor in the flu. Hickory dickory dock, two mice ran up the clock. The clock struck one, but the other one got away. Mary had a little lamb, a lobster and some prunes, a glass of milk, a piece of pie, and then some macaroons. It made the busy waiters grin to see her order so, and when they carried Mary out, her face was white as snow. Now, if I tell you the letters O, I, C, U, R, M, T, how could that be something you could put at the end of a rhyme? So maybe a rhyme, a nursery rhyme. What about a nursery rhyme like Old Mother Hubbard? Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get her poor dog a bone. When she got there, the cupboard was bare and she said, oh, I see you are empty. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men had scrambled eggs for dinner again. 
All I want is a proper cup of coffee, made in a proper copper coffee pot. You can believe it or not, but I just want a cup of coffee in a proper coffee pot. Tin coffee pots or iron coffee pots are no use to me. If I can't have a proper cup of coffee in a proper copper coffee pot, I'll have a cup of tea. Now, how would you like your fish? You can have fried fresh fish, fish fried fresh, fresh fried fish, fresh fish fried, or fish fresh fried. And if you want it a bit quicker, you can have fried fresh fish, fish fried fresh, fresh fried fish, fresh fish fried, or fish fresh fried. They're very hard to say when, they, when you say them fast, aren't they? Now this is a riddle, and you've got to try and guess what's going on here. Two legs sat upon three legs, with one leg in his lap. In comes four legs, and runs away with one leg, up jumps two legs, catches up three legs, throws it after four legs, and makes him bring back one leg. You'll probably get that from the pictures. And now here's another riddle. I was round and small like a pearl, then long and slender and brave as an earl. Since like a hermit I lived in a cell, and now like a rogue in the wide world I dwell. Look at the pictures, see whether you get that one. And then this one. I went to the wood and got it. I sat me down and looked at it. The more I looked at it, the less I liked it. And I brought it home because I couldn't help it. What's that? Have a look at the pictures. How about messages on tombstones? This one is written about Mrs. Not. Not born, not dead. Not christened, not begot. Lo, here she lies who was and who was not. Here lie John Rose and family. This graves a bed of roses. Here lies poor wood, enclosed in wood, one wood within another. One of these woods is very good. We cannot praise the other. This golfer, who would swing his clubs till time at last took toll, now in this grave below this stone, he's reached his final hole. Here lies the body of Anne Mann, who lived an old woman and died an old man. Here lies what's left of Leslie Moore. No Les, no more. John Brown, dentist, stranger, approached this spot with gravity. John Brown is filling his last cavity on Emma and Maria Little Boy. Two little boys lie here, yet strange to say, the little boys are girls. Stephen Crotchet, musician. Stephen and time are now both even. Stephen beat time, now time's beat Stephen. Owen Moore, gone away, owing more. Owen Moore, gone away, owing more than he could pay. So there we are, there's some tombstone messages. And now here's a story about a doggy. A doggy stole a sausage when he was underfed. The butcher saw him take it, and now poor doggy's dead. And all the little doggies, they gathered there that night. They built a little tombstone, and on it they did write. A doggy stole a sausage when he was underfed. The butcher saw him take it, and now poor dog is dead. And all the little doggies, they gathered there at night. They built a little tombstone, and on it they did write, A doggy stole a sausage when he was underfed. The butcher saw him take it, and now poor dog is dead. And all the little doggies, they gathered there at night. They built a little tombstone, and on it they did write, a doggy stole a sausage when he was underfed. The butcher saw him take it, and now poor dog is dead. And all the little doggies... It doesn't end, does it? It goes on and on. Hey, why is the 4th of July? Because J is the 1st of July, and U is the 2nd of July, and L is the 3rd of July, and Y is the 4th of July, because... J is the 1st of July, U is the 2nd of July, and L is the 3rd of July, and Y is the 4th of July, because J is the 1st of July, 
and U is the 2nd of July, and L is the 3rd of July, and Y is the 4th of July, because J is the 1st of July, U is the 2nd of July, and L is the 3rd of July, and Y is the 4th of July, because J is the 1st of July, and U is the 2nd of July, and L is the 3rd of July, and Y is the 4th of July, because J is the 3rd of July, and L is the 4th of July, because J is the 3rd of July, and L is the 4th of July, J is the 1st of July. It goes on and on. And here's another one. You remind me of a man. What man? A man of power. What power? The power of who do. Who do? You do. Do what? Remind me of a man. What man? A man of power. What power? The power of who do. Who do? You do. Do what? Remind me of a man. What man? A man of power. What power? The power of who do. Who do? You do. Do what? Remind me of a man. What man? A man of power. What power? You see, another one goes on and on. Let's see what's next. Ah, yes. There are three ways to get peanut butter off the roof of your mouth. One way is to shake your head back and forth. If that doesn't work, you could kind of whistle. If that doesn't work, you could scrape it off with your first finger. Like that. Now, there are three ways to get peanut butter off your finger. One way is to shake it off. Another way is to blow it. And if that doesn't work, you can scrape it off with your two front teeth. Now, there are three ways to get peanut butter off the roof of your mouth, yeah? One way is to shake your head back and forth. If that doesn't work, you could kind of whistle. If that doesn't work, you could scrape it off with your first finger. Now, there are three ways to get peanut butter off your finger. One way is to shake it off. Another way is to blow it. And if that doesn't work, you, you can scrape it off with your two front teeth. Now, there are three ways to get peanut butter off the roof of your mouth. Uh, one way to do it is to shake your head back up. Goes round and round. Doesn't stop, does it? And you can also make a chain with words. This is the key of the kingdom. In that kingdom, there is a city. In that city, there is a town. In that town, there is a street. In that street, there is a lane. In that lane, there is a yard. In that yard, there is a house. In that house, there is a room. In that room, there is a bed. On that bed, there is a basket. In that basket, there are some flowers. Flowers in a basket, basket on the bed. Bed in the room, room in the house, house in the yard, yard in the lane, lane in the street, street in the town, town in the city, city in the kingdom, of the kingdom. This is the key. It's come all the way back to the beginning again, hasn't it? Anna Maria, she sat on the fire. The fire was too hot, she sat on the pot. The pot was too round, she sat on the ground. The ground was too flat, she sat on the cat. The cat ran away with Maria on her back. I wonder how fast I could say that. Anna Maria, she sat on the fire. The fire was too hot. She sat on the pot. The pot was too round. She sat on the ground. The ground was too flat. She sat on the cat. The cat ran away with Maria on her back. There's another chain one. It goes like this. I went down to the river and I couldn't get across. So I jumped on a mule. I thought he was a horse. The mule wouldn't pull, so I traded him for a bull. The bull wouldn't holler, so I sold him for a dollar. The dollar wouldn't pass, so I threw it on the grass. The grass wouldn't grow, so I traded it for a hoe. The hoe wouldn't dig, so I traded it for a pig. The pig wouldn't squeal, so I traded it for a wheel. The wheel wouldn't run, so I traded it for a gun. The gun wouldn't shoot, so I traded it for a boot. The boot wouldn't fit, so I threw it in a pit. And you fell in on it. This one is called Hints on pronunciation. That means how we say things. And it'd be great to follow this as I'm saying it by looking at the poem itself. I take it you already know of tough and bow and cough and dough. Others may stumble, but not you, on hiccup, thorough, loch and through. Well done, and now you wish perhaps to learn of less familiar traps. Beware of herd, a dreadful word that looks like beard and sounds like bird. And dead, it's said like bed, not bead. For goodness sake, don't call it deed. Watch out for meat and great and threat. They rhyme with sweet and straight and debt. A moth is not a moth in mother, nor both in bother, broth in brother. And here is not a match for there, 
nor dear and fear for bear and pear. And then there's dose and rose and lose, just look them up, and goose and choose, and cork and work with card and ward and font and front and word and sword, and do and go and thwart and card. Come, come, I've hardly made a start. A dreadful language. Man alive, I'd mastered it when I was five. And there's one here that goes round and round. An old couple living in Gloucester had a beautiful girl, but they lost her. She fell from a yacht, and never the spot could be found where the cold waves had tossed her. Have a look at that one. Look at the spelling on that one. We'll do that again. An old couple living in Gloucester had a beautiful girl, but they lost her. She fell from a yacht, and never the spot could be found where the cold waves had tossed her. Is another one you have to look at to see what's going on. Right, we know, if written right, should not be written right or right, nor should it be written right but right, for only then is it written right. Now, this is another puzzle. So here's a whole stream of letters. G-H-E-A-U, G-H-T-E-I-G-H, P-T-O-U-G-H, spells potato. How? G-H is P as in hiccup. E-A-U is O as in bow. G-H-T is T as in naught. E-I-G-H is A as in nay. P-T is T as in pterodactyl. O-U-G-H is O as in though. So, G H E A U G H T E I G H P T O U G H spells potato. Now, for this one, you need to add the commas in the right places, and this rhyme will make perfect sense. So, that's what you've got to do put the commas in in the right places, otherwise, it's nonsense. I saw a fish pond all on fire, I saw a house bow to a squire. I saw a parson twelve feet high, I saw a cottage near the sky, I saw a balloon made of lead, I saw a coffin drop down dead. I saw a sparrow run a race, I saw two horses making lace, I saw a girl just like a cat, I saw a kitten wear a hat. I saw a man who saw these two and says, though strange, they all are true. So that was nonsense, but if you put the commas in the right places, it'll make sense. So here, punctuation can make all the difference in meaning. It just depends where you put it. You have a look at these. The butler stood by the door and called the guests names. The butler stood by the door and called the guests names. Private, no swimming allowed. Private, no, swimming allowed. A clever dog knows its master. A clever dog knows its master. Go slow, children. Go slow, children. Go slow, children. Now, what about when we say there's more than one of something? That's called a plural, isn't it? So if we say girl, and more than one girl is girls, yeah? Or door, doors. But then some of them are not quite like that, are they? So the plural of tooth is teeth. So is the plural of booth beef? The plural of mouse is mice. So is the plural of spouse, then spice. The plural of that is those. Is the plural of hat, then hose. And the plural of rat, then rose. Who knows? And this one I've heard children say this to me. Ladles and jelly spoons. I come before you to stand behind you and tell you something I know nothing about. Next Thursday, which is Good Friday, there'll be a mother's meeting for fathers only. Wear your best clothes if you haven't any. And if you can come, please stay at home. Admission free, pay at the door, take a seat and sit on the floor. It makes no difference where you sit. The man in the gallery is sure to spit. The train pulled in the station. The bell was ringing wet. The track ran by the depot, and I think it's running yet. I jumped into the river just because it had a bed. I took a sheet of water for to cover up my head. One bright September morning in the middle of July, 
The sun lay thick upon the ground, the snow shone in the sky. The flowers were singing gaily, the birds were full of bloom. I went upstairs to the cellar to clean a downstairs room. I saw 10,000 miles away a house just out of sight. It stood alone between two more, and it was blackwashed white. Once an ant met a bat, said the bat to the cat, why the dog don't the elephant get the fish out of here? Mississippi said to Missouri, if I put on my New Jersey, what will Delaware? Virginia said, Alaska. Do you care at all for me? My heart beats for you with your turnip nose and your radish face. You are a peach. If we can't a loop, let us marry. We'd make a swell pair. Did you see what was in that? There was a carrot, a beet, a turnip, a radish, a peach, a cantaloupe, which is the name of a melon, lettuce, and a pear. A famous painter met his death because he couldn't draw his breath. Dr. Bell fell down the well and broke his collarbone. Doctors should attend the sick and leave the well alone. A rabbit raced a turtle, you know the turtle won, and Mr. Bunny came in late, a little hot cross bun. I was going to buy my sister a box of chocolates, but she's on a diet. It's a seafood diet. If she sees food, she eats it. Now here's a question. There's a man in a room without doors or windows. The only furniture is a wooden table. How does the man get out? Well, first of all, he bangs his head against the wall until it's sore. Then he takes the saw and cuts the table in half. He puts the halves together to make a hole. He gets through the hole and then he shouts and shouts until he's hoarse and he gets on the horse and rides away. Now these are like riddles, but what you have to do is get the letters. So my first is in mud, but not in bog. My second's in wood and also in log. My third is in yours, but not in mine. My fourth is in sun and also in shine. My fifth is in here and also in there, and when you're not around, I run everywhere, what am I? So you've got to pick out the letters from each one. So when you look there, you'll see it. This is another good one to look at, O-I-C. I'm in a tender mood today and feel poetic too. For fun, I'll just off a line and send it off to you. I'm sorry you've been sick so long. Don't be disconsolate, but bear your ills with fortitude and they won't seem so great. Now here's another one where you have to find the letters. My first is in head, but not in arm. My second is in field, but not in farm. My third is in true and also in brave. My fourth is in rescue but not in save. My whole is a creature, sprightly and gay, and lives on the mountains, far away. Now these you have to look at as well because they're done with letters and numbers. Too wise you are, too wise you be, I see you are too wise for me. And this one goes, one one was a racehorse, two two was one two, one one won a race, 22112. Timothy Titus took two T's to tie two tups to two tall trees to frighten the terrible Thomas Atatamus. Tell me how many T's there are in that. How many T's are there in that? The beginning of eternity, the end of time and space, the beginning of every end, at the end of every place. Now, there are some answers to those at the back but I'm hoping that you'll get them from the pictures. And so that's the end of the book, my book called Walking the Bridge of Your Nose, Wordplay, Rhymes and Poems that I chose, illustrated by Chloe Cheese.